In this demo, you will see the administrative and user experiences to secure work. Jordan is an IT admin who will use the power of security analytics and secure internet access to manage security protocols. The ever-expanding attack surface of flexible work makes this topic particularly relevant. Security requirements often result in a tremendous amount of complexity and friction for our employees. This friction drives employees away from IT-mandated solutions. With Citrix, we abstract away the complexity, making security invisible to the user. As I mentioned earlier, this ability to enhance security while providing a great customer experience is a key differentiator. Hello, Jordan. Hey, Hector. Can you show us how you use Citrix to manage your end user environments? Of course, I'd be happy to. So 2020 has certainly been quite an interesting year. In pursuit of a new normal, we've seen many companies relax traditional approaches to doing business. And trust me, I'm not just talking about the work from home attire. Security was pressured to disregard many acceptable use policies that would have otherwise been deemed vital. Some of these relaxations include sending users home with company devices and data, BYO devices, allowing consumer-grade software, and tunneling users into the network through VPNs. Citrix has aligned our solutions with leading cybersecurity frameworks such as Zero Trust, SASE, and Carta to help security regain that lost control back. We're able to protect against many types of attacks while ensuring users remain productive and efficient. Let's see this in action. One common and often overlooked attack is from insider threats. Analytics collects data from the Citrix products that you already own and are leveraging today. Because we are looking for very specific triggers, Citrix analytics reduces alert fatigue, which can improve our ability to respond quickly. This dashboard shows me all of my users connecting through the workspace and the associated risk each user presents. While it might seem obvious to jump straight to the highest risk users, Analytics has the ability to detect other key events, such as insider threats. Let's think about the scenario from earlier. An employee has returned to the office. We'll call that employee Rob. Rob is our IT administrator. In his role, Rob has been granted excessive privileges above that of a normal user. Rob is also a global traveler to our offices and data centers around the world. Given this context, we can see his risk score is actually unaffected. Looking through Rob's timeline of events, nothing unusual really stands out. But as we recall, Rob was headed to the office to talk about his promotion with his boss. A little nervous, Rob goes to the restroom to freshen up and accidentally leaves his laptop unlocked. Bad move, Rob. At this point, a malicious employee sees the open laptop and strikes. They download ransomware onto Rob's computer, which begins to encrypt his files. Luckily, the system automatically responds, even with no other warning signs. We have immediately taken action to mitigate this insider threat and protect company data. Strong security involves a layered approach for many types of attacks, which is where Citrix Secure Internet Access comes in. Secure Internet Access is all about cloud security for the wild web. It helps protect traffic going to and from the user, regardless of their location. Companies no longer have to hairpin back through the data center to maintain security, which can hinder performance and is inflexible to hybrid clouds. Instead, SIA improves your security posture, strengthens network resiliency and user experience when paired with Citrix SD-WAN. Combining these technologies makes Citrix the most comprehensive SASE vendor in the market today. Customers benefit from the unification of networking and security to help drive modern business initiatives. So let's get sassy. In our last example, we saw Rob was the victim of a targeted insider threat attack, which thankfully was mitigated with analytics. And the best news yet is our friend Rob even got that promotion after all. You go, Rob. Although he's not gonna be leaving his laptop unlocked anytime soon. In anticipation for his new position, Rob travels back home to read up on some IT leadership blogs. While searching the web, Rob unknowingly clicks on a malicious web link, which would have triggered a download of malware. 
Fortunately for Rob, the web traffic was redirected, inspected, and then ultimately blocked. Secure internet access goes beyond just allowing or restricting access to certain sites. It actually scans the content for malware as it goes through. Not only are we able to move security to the edge, but we can do so in a way that allows for unified management of security, network, and workspace technologies. From the dashboard, I see a consolidated network map of SIA nodes and SD-WAN branches, showing the health and any possible incidents. The SIA cloud is a single pass architecture, which means that we can apply web filtering, intrusion prevention systems, CASB, and DLP all from a single container. The benefit of this is we only have to decrypt the traffic one time. This ensures the lowest latency to the user while still applying the required controls. With built-in DLP, we are able to protect inbound and outbound traffic. SIA identifies and blocks sensitive data that should not be sent externally. This includes credit cards, PII data, and even social security numbers. The Incident Response Center re reinforces the overall security posture of the organization. Here I can see the details about Rob's blocked malware. Secure internet access helps companies layer on security from the cloud. By focusing on users and networks instead of just perimeters, we can solve for more situations in this increasingly dynamic world. Let's switch gears. Spending more time in front of our screens has increased our attack surface. Here are two examples of how Citrix is able to help protect against data theft and phishing attacks. Now that he's been promoted, Rob hired me to manage his Citrix environment. He sends me a link to an internal site so I can handle incoming support tickets. With secure workspace access, I'm given VPN-less access and even single sign-on into this internet site. Rob has protected it with enhanced security so that sensitive data stays with the organization. Thanks to the new browser extension, I didn't even have to log in through Workspace to access. This provides a zero trust approach without the need to retrain end users. Speaking of user training, let's talk about phishing. These attacks have been on the rise lately and luckily Citrix is able to help. This looks like an important email from Rob. I see there are new COVID-19 restrictions for 2021 going into effect. I better see what's changing. When I click the link, I'm automatically redirected to a website hosted on the secure browser service. I look around the site and it looks like I can download the new guidelines from here. Wait, what's this? Badnews.exe? That's not what I should have downloaded. That's, that's ransomware. Thankfully, this Trojan attack was 100% contained. My device and all our corporate resources were completely protected. Both the email and website were faked by a hacker in order to trick me into downloading a malicious payload. But the illegitimate site hit our web filter and automatically redirected to secure workspace access. Thankfully, because of this protection, the site was launched on the isolated and disposable browser hosted in our cloud. Even with phishing awareness training, we still need technical enforcement at multiple levels. And this is a great example of that. Finally, let's talk about social engineering attacks, which have been targeting work from home users. One such attack involves a hacker pretending to be from your company's IT department. They may trick a user to gain remote access to their system so that they can perform routine maintenance. In reality, the hacker is looking to steal confidential information or trying to manipulate a system such as a money transfer or a SIM swap. Citrix app protection blocks many forms of remote access trojans and keyloggers. It can also be very useful for accidental screen sharing of sensitive data, such as when in a Zoom or a Teams meeting. With app protection, we easily prevent these attacks by interfering with what the hacker can see and manipulate on the user's screen. By having a layered approach to security, Citrix can help prevent many cyber attacks from causing havoc to our environments. These are just some examples of how Citrix helps customers regain control, maintain compliance, and reduce the overall risk to the organization. Thanks, Hector. Back to you. You saw security analytics monitoring user activity and initiating actions. You saw the power of secure internet access securing users and networks. You saw app protection and secure workspace access, SWA, protecting the end user and the company information. Finally, VPN-less access to the web and SaaS 
and browser isolation help maintain a healthy user experience while preserving security. Everything we have demonstrated today empowers secure, flexible work and goes well beyond virtualization. 